Today I'm going to talk about a free money hack that allows you to get money out of thin air and is based on this word, arbitrage. Basically, you can borrow at a rate of 3% per annum interest and invest your money at about 5% per annum interest, you can earn the difference between these two rates. Now, the question is, if someone were to lend you money at 3% per annum now, how much money will you borrow? My answer would be as much as you can because right now you can easily get 4 to 5% per annum interest easily from things like bank accounts, T-bills, and therefore someone lending you 3% per annum interest is like giving you free money. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you how to get the cheap loan, how to get better returns on that loan, and of course, watch to the end for calculations on how much you can expect to get. Now the question would be, where do we find somewhere that we can borrow money at around 3% per annum interest? And I've actually found a tool and that is credit card balance transfers. Now for those who are unaware of what a balance transfer is, basically it is a loan that you take out from your credit card and every month you just pay 1% of the loan amount and at the end of the tenure, you repay the amount in full and usually such balance transfers have 0% interest but they do charge an upfront processing fee. Banks like to advertise the processing fee because it looks quite small, like 1% or 1.5%. But the good thing is, in Singapore, they also have to publish the EIR, Effective Interest Rate. And therefore, you know exactly how much interest you are paying for these loans. And I've actually checked online and found a few good deals for 6-month balance transfers. Citibank has rates from 3.68%. Stanchart has it at 3.1%. And I also have a deal that I managed to find through a major bank and it gives under 3% if you meet certain requirements. Refer to the description box below for the best balance transfer deals that I managed to find. And if you found something better, do share it with us in the comments below. So these are very, very good rates that you can borrow money from and then put it in channels that give you 4 to 5% per annum interest. And I think those need no introduction. But just to quickly recap the options we have right now, we of course have bank accounts which are now giving as high as 4-5% to effective interest. That of course includes the recently revamped UOB1 account which gives as high as 7.8% on the top tier of balance that you have in your bank account. OCBC 360 account can also give up to 7% per annum interest on the final $25,000 balance in your account. And you might be a bit puzzled, wondering why I'm using the marginal rate rather than the effective interest rate. And I'll explain this later on in the video. UB1 and OCBC 360, of course, require you to meet certain conditions like credit your salary, uh, make some spend, etc. But there are also bank accounts that give you uh, 3 to almost 4% per annum interest without any conditions, such as the Stanchart e-saver, but that is for fresh funds and for a period of 2 months. And also other accounts like RHB high yield interest account which can give up to 7% but again for fresh funds. So people have realized that you can actually alternate between these two bank accounts to get high interest rate without conditions. So the equation is very simple. Borrow cheap funds from your balance transfer and place it in your high yield savings account to earn the difference. And remember to watch till the end of this video for full calculations and specific numbers. Another option you can consider is Mumu Cash Plus and yes, this video is brought to you by Mumu but this product is really very relevant because you can actually invest up to $10,000 in Mumu Cash Plus portfolio and earn guaranteed 5% per annum interest for a period of 3 months and you also get cash back up to $20 for subscribing to Mumu Cash Plus. And for every friend you refer to Mumu, you actually also get an additional 1 month of 5% per annum guaranteed and also $20 cash reward. And therefore, this is a very good option for you to put your cheap balance transfer funds into and earn the difference. So sign up with my link below to get all these goodies and thanks for supporting this video and thanks to Mumu for sponsoring my video. The next suggestion I have needs no introduction and they are T-bills which have been giving around 4% per annum interest with the highest one recently at 4.4% per annum interest. So they are a very good way for you to monetize the cheap funds you have borrowed with your balance transfer. Now you might be wondering, is this strategy risky? And you should be concerned about the risk of anything uh, that you put your money in. And I will say that as with most investments, it comes with a bunch of risks that you need to be aware of. And the first risk is if you fail to make your minimum payment each month for your balance transfer, you incur late fees and you also incur high interest rates. Uh, and we all know credit cards charge ridiculous amount like 26, 26.9% per annum interest rates if you are late in payment. So if you embark on this strategy, you better make the minimum payment each month, otherwise you incur all these fees and you instead of earning money, you actually lose money to all these penalties and charges by the bank. 
Number two, there's a risk that your investment will actually go down in rate. So if you are planning to use the funds and put it into UOB1 account, UOB can next month say, hey, we are going to revise the interest rate downwards to 3% and therefore you have made a loss because 3% might not cover the processing fee that you have paid to the bank for your balance transfer. One way to mitigate this risk would be to look for products that give you a fixed yield for a fixed tenure, such as T-Bills, which uh, offers its rate for six months and it will not change. And the second way to mitigate this risk would be to pick shorter tenures because in the long term, we are not sure how interest rate will move. But if you are looking at the next three to six months, it is very unlikely that bank interest rates will go down. Uh, of course, unlikely doesn't mean impossible. So please exercise your own due diligence when embarking on this strategy. Another risk I can think of would be the liquidity of your funds. Let's say you take a six month interest free balance transfer and you decide to invest it in a six month T-bill. You better make sure that your T-bill funds will mature before the interest free period expires on your balance transfer. Otherwise, you may end up in a situation whereby your T-bill money is still stuck there for maybe a week and then you already have to pay back the balance transfer and you have no spare funds to pay back your balance transfer and interest kicks in. And that's a very bad situation indeed. So you better prepare some liquidity for when your interest-free period of your balance transfer is ending. Therefore, you can pay back that balance transfer while your T-bill is still uh, stuck and have not matured. Or you make sure that your T-bill matures before the interest-free period of your balance transfer expires. So check with your bank when you have to repay in full before interest kicks in. And of course, you match it with the T-bill maturity date and you should not have an issue. Of course, if you're using a high yield bank account, then this is not an issue because you can always withdraw from the bank account, pay back your balance uh, transfer, and that's the end of the story. Okay, it's time to break out Trustio Excel to show you some calculation and specific numbers on what you can expect to get from this strategy. And first, I would like to go through what a balance transfer is. So a balance transfer allows you to actually use your credit limit and borrow up to 95% of it. So if your credit limit is like, let's say $15,000, you can borrow, uh, uh, well, 95% of it. And for simplicity's sake, let's just set it at $10,000. So at $10,000 with a 1.5% fee, this is how it will play out, right? You borrow $10,000, but they only give you $9,850 because of the 1.5% processing fee. And then every month, we have to pay 1% of what we owe. So we owe $10,000, we pay 1%, $100, and I'm left with $9,900 of loan. And in my bank account, I have $9,750. So each month, this cycle repeats 1% of this amount, take out from my bank, right? Left with this loan amount and so forth. At the end of six months, I would have uh, paid back all this amount here. And also I need to pay back $9,415. And therefore, I will have made a loss at of $150 because now I'm assuming 0% interest rate. So if we increase this rate to 4%, what happens is that we will see $43.69 of profit, which is not too bad because not much work is needed. All you need to do is get the balance transfer, leave in your bank for 4%. Now from here, there are actually a few ways you can increase the amount you earn. So one way of course would be to increase the amount of borrowings you get and you can actually take out balance transfers from multiple banks. So let's say if you take $30,000, you have earned $131 from this strategy. Now, that's still not very fantastic. So if you are embarking on this, you should probably go for uh, UB1 or OCBC 365 or maybe even Mumu account and get yourself around 5% returns and that will give you $277. Now, realistically speaking, you might already have some amount of money in your UB1 account. So let's say you have $75,000 and you should know that the last $25,000 gives you very high interest rate, 7.8%, but you just don't have enough savings to reach there. So borrow $25,000 from your balance transfer. Uh, you should get 7.8% on that marginal $25,000 and you can see that your profit goes way up. And therefore, it of course depends on your specific circumstances, but it is very possible right now to gain a good amount of free money from this strategy. Balance transfers uh, still give pretty attractive interest rates. And of course, bank accounts and Mumu give you 4, 5, uh, even 7.8% if you already have some money in the bank. So a uh, very good way to earn free money. And please uh, don't get into credit card debt over this strategy. Make sure you can meet the minimum payment each month and pay back in full when the interest-free period is over. Do not get into credit card debt. 
okay, if you get into credit card debt because of this strategy, I will feel very bad. Uh, your finances will be in very bad shape. So do not get into credit card debt. Now, if you're already in credit card debt, ironically, borrowing money from your credit card using balance transfers actually can save you some interest because let's say you're heavily in debt in credit card A and paying 26.9% per annum interest. What you can do is to borrow from card B uh, with a balance transfer that is interest-free and then pay the processing fee, uh, pay about 3 plus percent in EIR, then use the amount of money here to pay off your credit card loan here and overall you should save on your interest. With the way interest rates are moving, right, things are a bit crazy and always updating and changing. So subscribe to my Telegram group for all the latest updates on such things. And if you enjoyed this video, do drop me a like. And if you like this video, I think you also like these various hacks on how to get some extra cash. So I'll see you in those videos.